Uh, the soil that, that we're going to backfill with, we're not going to use the soil that came out of the hole to put back around our bulbs. The soil that we're going to put in there, uh, we're going to amend it or we're going to fortify it with uh, a commercial fertilizer. This is some triple 13 fertilizer. It means it's got 13% nitrogen, 13% phosphorus, 13% potash, along with all the micronutrients, iron, zinc, and all that other stuff uh, to, to give the plant a shotgun approach to what it needs. If you want to go organic uh, to get phosphorus, you can use bone meal. Uh, uh, bulbs love bone meal uh, because it's a high phosphorus. This stuff here has 13% phosphorus. Uh, or you need a little nitrogen for it, you can add some, some blood meal, which will give you a little nitrogen. Uh, for potash, you'd have to go to something like murate uh, of potash. Uh, most people have a, a, a lawn or a garden fertilizer. The, the fertilizer in the garage, the, the fertilizer that you want to use is not a lawn type. It, yeah, lawn fertilizers usually have too much nitrogen. And sometimes your fertilizer you have in your garage looks like this. It's pretty big and crusty, but it can be broken up and used uh, anyway because the nutrients are still there. It's just that it's kind of clumped up. You don't want to send it to the landfill. What well, we're going to put about, in, in the amount of soil that we have here, we're going to fortify it with about a pound or, or so of this full blend. We don't want to put too much uh, commercial fertilizer because you can get enough nitrogen or, or an excess of nitrogen uh, and get the uh, uh, the roots, the feeder roots that are trying to establish the plant, you can get them uh, burned off and you don't have then the main uh, way that the plant establishes itself. Those little little tiny hair roots are the most important roots on the plant. The big, the big ones that go deep in the ground, uh, they hold the tree up, but they sure don't feed the tree. All your feeder roots are in the top six inches of the soil. And those are the most important ones because uh, you got to have something uh, to feed the plant once you get it up to size. And uh, once we fortify this soil, we'll know that we have nutrient that's going to be available in the root zone for the bulbs that we're planting.